Tonight's unsolved crime is something unlike anything you've seen here on Channel 2. It's not about a person, but a wedding dress that was stolen from a museum in Clarence. Here's two on your side's Leanne Stock. Tonight's unsolved crime takes us to the Clarence History Museum, where just last month, a 1912 Victorian wedding dress vanished. Now the museum wants to know who did it and how. Probably one of our biggest displays is 3407, mm -hmm. the plane crash. Doug Larkin is the president of the Clarence Historical Society. He runs this history museum nestled in the heart of Clarence. We had civil war for the last two years and probably in another year or so we'll change it out to World War II. We're trying to preserve the history of the town of Clarence. Six months ago, a well-known family in Clarence donated this 1912 Victorian wedding dress to the museum. It was a beautiful centerpiece to their Victorian era display. It's a prominent family in town, 1912 wedding dress hand sewn for this family. And uh, historically it meant a lot to us and to the town of Clarence. Last month, Doug and his wife were bringing items to the museum. She came around the corner and started screaming that the dress was gone. Where that wedding dress once stood was now an empty mannequin. We called the sheriff's department right away. Erie County sheriffs came out and took a report. While searching the place, they found another artifact missing, a ceramic doll that was not on display yet. It was stolen from the office. The plot thickened when Larkin found out their security alarm had been deactivated. Somebody had a key and the code for the alarm system because the alarm never was set off. I brought up in a small town here and trust was a big thing with my family and our business that we're in. Trust people and unfortunately since this incident's happened, it's changed my outlook a little bit on trust. And the mystery continues as Larkin tries to figure out why they only took those two items. If they wanted something for cash, they certainly could have helped themselves to something, something more worthwhile than that. Larkin says this is the first theft to happen at the museum. The Erie County Sheriff's Office is trying to find the person, With but Washington Larkin hopes they'll just give the items back. We're hoping they have a conscience, realize what they did, realize the value to the historical society, um, of these items and would just anonymously drop them off. But even as time goes on, this unsolved crime has left many puzzled. We really don't know. We can't figure out why, why this happened. With this unsolved, I'm Leanne Stuck.